between Kenya and America. And we want to tell William Zewa Mandamano, don't interfere with the af affairs of other countries. Nani meskia ya kisema, ati ya kwamba, Kenya is not an American colony. Sisi na tauli za wewe msea kutenda wili. Siku umeenda kulia kwa obasijo, akuji ya kutetea kwa raizi. Umeenda juzi kwa sulu huko Tanzania, ati ya kuji ya kutetea hapa utafutiwe kitu ya kukula. Was Kenya a Tanzanian colony? Kwa hivyo tunataka tukuambie wewe mzee, wewe panga mzigo yako, uende bodo ukumusike. Tupe kubaliana? Tupe kubaliana? Mimi nataka kwa kikishia nyinyi kwa niyaba ya Rais William Ruto, hatu paduki. Sisi tumeamua ya kwamba mambo ya kilimo, lazima mpate bolea kwa shilingi elfu, bili na miatano. Na tena saa hii tunapanga pesa ya kutosha, Ya kununua maindi yote ukipeleka kwa SPB unalipwa within 48 hours. Tumekubaliana? We are ready to work with the county government across the political landscape. We don't care in what political formation you are in. And we have told our people, we have told the administration, we have told the police to keep off politics. So chiefs, assistant chiefs, county commissioners, OCS, OSPD, they have no business in politics. Their work is to give services to the people of Kenya, is to fight crime, is to fight illicit brew, is to register farmers, is to espouse government policy and keep up politics. Even governors elected on the opposition platform will enjoy the services of the administrators and the police and everybody else in an equitable and fair manner like the rest of the country. There is no corruption for the national government and the county governments. Corruption is corruption in its very form. And this government will deal with the corruption in the national government, in the county governments, and in the country. We know that some people are very uncomfortable because previously governors have been untwisted to give money obtained fraudulently and corruptly to fund political activities. With this new war on corruption in the county governments, it is no longer going to be possible to coerce governors from your coalition to give you money for politics. That is a problem. That is a problem. In one year, the economy has shown signs of recovery to the extent that for the first time in seven years, all county governments were given their money before the closure of the financial year on June 30th. All members of parliament and the respective constituency development funds in the 290 constituencies were given all the allocation before the closure of the financial year on June 30th. So the people who had skimmed to destroy the economy so that the next leader can fail are very envious. And that is why they are bitter, and that is why they are trying to portray our friends as bad people. I join you for the Eighth Devolution Conference and the first biennial conference as we celebrate a devolved but complementary system of governance. For the last four days of this convening, which was opened by President William Ruto on Wednesday, we have appreciated the transformation of investing resources at the bottom of the socio-economic pyramid where they belong. As staunch believers in sparking grassroots economies, we have picked good practices and lessons for better, bolder and broader steps into the next decade of devolution. That is why the sub-theme, driving transformation from the local level, counter governments as a center of economic development, is very apt. Governors, distinguished guests, at the start of our administration, 
President William Ruto was wrongly criticized for being purported to have cropped off the Ministry of Devolution. This was not the case. It was a case of elevating devolution to the presidency. And in less than one year into office, the president has shown commitment to delivering on the devolution dream because it is aligned to the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. We have no room for a failed devolution because it is the anchor of the Kenya Kwanzaa transformation agenda. We are keeping the promise in our first year in office the national government owes no county a penny. On the other hand, President William Ruto elevated the evolution and placed it at the office of the Deputy President. And in this regard, the evolution enjoys a direct ear to the presidency. Besides being the chair of the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council, I'll be given the role to be the bridge between the national government and the county governments. In short, I am the representative of the devolved units at the decision-making table of the executive. On assuming office, I undertook to eliminate conflict between the two levels of government, and I convened a meeting of all county commissioners and directed them to accord due respect and work closely with elected governors and the county governments. The governors distinguished guests. As a result of that directive, there is seamless cooperation and collaboration between the two levels of government because we serve the same people. There are no Kenyans who belong to the national government and there are no Kenyans who belong to the county government all Kenyans are Kenyans and they belong to the two levels of government. I have repeatedly cautioned the county commissioners and the security commanders that they must respect elected leaders and they must find a way to work with elected leaders. And I have told them repeatedly in their unlikely and unfortunate events that they are unable to work together. Governors are not transferable because they belong to those counties. And if they cannot work together, one must give way. Our plan is not an accident. It is a carefully thought out framework. It is a vehicle carrying the aspirations of counties, inspiring the economy of the grassroots. It is the position of President William Ruto that the bottom up economic transformation agenda is synonymous with the devolution. Devolution and better are twin sisters and they all aspire to achieve the same objective. That is why collaboration and partnership, despite the distinct nature of the mandates of the national and county governments are key. We are here to quote, cultivate and oil our mutual working relations for seamless service delivery. The conversation of this conference, therefore, has established that devolution is not a competition, but rather a working in a complementary manner for the benefit of the people of Kenya in the respective 47 counties. Excellencies, governors, distinguished guests, the advent of devolution has led to the rise of health facilities from about 8,000 8, in the year 2013 to over 13,700 to date. While it is in the interest of the counties to adequately provide technical and equipment support, leveraging partnership with the national government ensures quality health service. As we collectively work to implement the universal health coverage, the national government has also given priority to preventive health care to ultimately reduce pressure on the county facilities. Governors and distinguished guests, Similarly, when more than 4.5 million people in over 30 counties faced famine recently in the worst drought in 40 years,